I'm Hua Mulan. I will bring honor to us all. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best movies and TV shows coming to streaming September 2020. There you are. You guys have superpowers. Uh, we're superheroes. <laughs> Delusions! For this list, we're looking at the most buzzworthy and compelling series and films about to arrive on streaming services. What new content has you most excited? Sound off in the comments below. Seriously, I dare you. Number 10. Long Way Up, coming to Apple TV Plus September 18th, 2020. Do you love motorcycles, travel content, and or Ewan McGregor? If you answered yes to even one of three, we can all but guarantee you're going to enjoy this new documentary travel series on Apple TV+. Filmed from September through December 2019, the show follows Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman on a long-distance motorcycle journey beginning in the Patagonia region of Argentina and ending in California. And then we just did the very tip of southern South America, Tierra del Fuego, to Los Angeles. And we just did it this year from September. For those who are unfamiliar with his work, Charlie Borman is an accomplished travel writer, actor, TV presenter, and avid motorcycle enthusiast. This is actually the third collaboration between McGregor and Borman, the previous two being 2004's Long Way Round and 2007's Long Way Down. The curveball this time around? The motorcycles are electric. Like a boy, I'm excited. Number 9. Enola Holmes, coming to Netflix September 23, 2020. Everywhere you look, there's Millie Bobby Brown doing her thing and absolutely crushing it. Where's your hat and your gloves? Well, I have a hat. Just makes the head itch. In addition to Stranger Things, Godzilla King of the Monsters, being an ambassador for UNICEF, and breaking into modeling, she's now adding a second major Netflix production to her name. The young star takes the titular role in Enola Holmes, a mystery film adapted from the YA book series by Nancy Springer. It centers on the brilliant younger sister of Sherlock Holmes, Enola, as she endeavors to solve the mystery of her mother's disappearance. A week ago, I awoke mother? to find that my mother was missing, and she did not return. The trailer promises a fun, fast-paced, and utterly charming film. And with Henry Cavill, Sam Claflin, and Helena Bonham Carter playing the rest of the Holmes family, Millie Bobby Brown is certainly in good company. Perhaps she wants to change the world. Perhaps it's a world that needs changing. Number 8. Pen 15 Season 2, coming to Hulu September 18, 2020. Despite being nominated for a Primetime Emmy, this series has largely flown under the mainstream radar. In case you're among the uninitiated, Pen 15 stars Maya Erskine and Anna Conkle as fictionalized 13 year old versions of themselves going to middle school in the early 2000s. Okay, now your turn. They have not been digitally de aged, but everyone around them is played by actual tweens. If the premise sounds uncomfortable, wait until you watch an actual episode. The cringe factor is off the charts, but so is the quality of the writing. I'm sorry, I'm just hormonal! Erskine and Conkle wholly commit to the roles, making the juxtaposition between their obvious age and behavior all the more intense. Season 2 promises to be yet another utterly unique trip back to school. She's my best friend on God's green frickin' earth. Number 7. Earth to Ned Season 1, coming to Disney Plus September 4th, 2020. In July of 2020, Disney brought the Muppets back in style with the six-episode first season of Muppets Now. It would seem that Disney sees a market for puppetry on their platform, because not two months later, they're debuting the puppet-based variety show Earth to Ned. It's just me, funny, likable Ned. Developed by the real masters of puppets at the Jim Henson Company, Earth to Ned is billed as a sci-fi comedy talk show. And based on what we've seen of it so far, it looks appropriately out of this world. Disney has lined up some of their best and brightest stars to sit down with the titular extraterrestrial. The result is a series unlike anything we've seen before. What's a pet peeve? Stupid people. Yeah, you came to the wrong place. <laughs> Number 6. Raised by Wolves series premiere, coming to HBO Max September 3rd, 2020. It's official! Ridley Scott is over aliens and wants to explore the concept of androids. After commanding increasing amounts of screen time in Prometheus and Alien Covenant, these artificial beings finally take center stage in this HBO Max original series. I was programmed to protect you. And now we start again. 
Created by Aaron Gazakowski, but directed and executive produced by Scott, Raised by Wolves follows a pair of androids tasked with caring for human children on a new world. Earth was supposedly destroyed by war, and they must ensure that this new home remains free from religious conflict. You will raise these children now! For anyone who's missed Travis Fimmel since his departure from Vikings, you'll be happy to know he plays a leading role. Based on the production value, HBO clearly spared no expense bringing the series to life. I want my children to be safe. Number 5. Ratchet, coming to Netflix September 18, 2020. When you put Ryan Murphy and Sarah Paulson together, the results are usually electrifying. But this isn't just another season of American Horror Story. It is a prequel series to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You should bathe more often. Your fingernails are filthy. More specifically, it's a prequel focusing on the infamous Nurse Ratched, one of the most iconic villains in the history of cinema. Set in 1947, it follows a young but already stern and manipulative Mildred Ratched as she begins her work in an asylum. What are you going to do about it? What, are you deaf? No. Just thinking of all the things I'm going to do about it. There's a real darkness to the character, and the series promises to explore how those sinister compulsions grew and evolved to make her the monster we met in the 1962 novel and the 1975 film. Paulson is joined by the likes of Sharon Stone, Judy Davis, and Vincent D'Onofrio. Letting me into this hospital was the best decision you ever made. Number 4. Mulan, coming to Disney Plus September 4, 2020. A live-action remake of Disney's hit 1998 film, Mulan is certainly high-profile enough to land in our top five. But in addition to a Disney Plus subscription, you will also need to pay $29.99 or thereabouts depending on your country, which makes it fall into a gray area criteria-wise. Loyal, brave, and true. It is my duty to protect my family. Regardless, Mulan is too epic of a release to ignore. It's great to see Disney taking this empowering story and bringing it to life with a racially appropriate cast, and adapting the plot to recognize concerns about gendered power dynamics. Yet here I stand, proof that there is a place for people like us. Furthermore, this is also a landmark moment in terms of distribution strategy, one that could fundamentally change the industry. Most importantly, though, we're just excited to see one of Disney's greatest heroines in a live action capacity. I'm Hua Mulan. I will bring honor to us all. Number 3. The Devil All the Time, coming to Netflix September 16, 2020. Based on Donald Ray Pollock's 2011 novel, The Devil All the Time is a psychological thriller set in post World War II Ohio. It's the best present I ever got. Thank you. It follows a young man named Arvin Russell who finds himself and his family threatened on all sides by forces of evil. The hugely talented Tom Holland plays our young protagonist and he's surrounded by just about the best supporting cast that one could ever ask for. This includes Bill Skarsgård, Riley Keough, Jason Clarke, Mia Vashikovska, and fellow MCU alum Sebastian Stan. When people look back on it, they had no other choice. Though he receives lower billing than his co-stars, Robert Pattinson looms large in the trailer as Reverend Preston Teagarden directed and co-written by Antonio Campos, who gave us the woefully underrated 2016 film Christine. This Netflix original seems set to be a must-watch. Delusions! Number 2. I'm Thinking of Ending Things, coming to Netflix September 4th, 2020. If you're a fan of horror, psychological thrillers, mind-bending cinema, or just good storytelling, watch this movie. But do yourself a favor and read the book beforehand. I've never experienced anything like it. I'm thinking of ending things. From Canadian author Ian Reid, I'm Thinking of Ending Things is one of the most effective pieces of psychological horror fiction you've likely read in a long time. And we can't think of anyone better suited to bring it to life on the big screen than Oscar winner Charlie Kaufman. But there's just something profoundly wrong here. Are you okay? The film follows a young woman, played by Chernobyl star Jesse Buckley, who goes to visit her new boyfriend's parents, but things quickly take a strange turn. It might sound like a conventional horror setup, but we guarantee that you have no idea where this story is headed. Maybe this is how it was always going to end. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Anthony, coming to Peacock September 4th, 2020. So beautiful. AP Bio Season 3, 
coming to Peacock September 3rd, 2020. Good morning, Let's grab today by the horn. You just hit me with an apple. Yeah. The Babysitter, Killer Queen, coming to Netflix September 10th, 2020. Marvel 616, coming to Disney Plus September 25th, 2020. We can create more content for them. You know, Captain Marvel was sort of that signpost of change. Away, coming to Netflix September 4th, 2020. Wait! Houston, we have a situation. What happened? She froze. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Boys Season 2 – Coming to Prime Video September 4, 2020 Some comic books just seem too gory and raunchy to ever get a big budget adaptation. Apparently, Amazon disagrees. We're in. Of course we're in. After dousing Prime Video subscribers in blood, profanity, and all manner of unsavory acts in 2019, the boys are back to somehow up the ante. We are in a war, but we can fight back. The first season made a big impression with its shock value, but it also set up a fascinating world of corrupt, corporate-sponsored superheroes. It also ended on a major reveal that promised big things on the horizon. Well, the reviews are in, and it would seem that season two of The Boys not only capitalizes on everything it set up in 2019, it also goes bigger and better in every conceivable way. We just need to keep our shit together a little bit longer. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.